now that you know how to create records in the database, let's play with how to query them and update them, delete them, things like that. So we're going to get in the console by typing in Rails C, and I'm going to say project.all. And what that's going to bring me is uh, the type of object it brings me back is, you can see right here, an active record relation object. So this is something specific to the active record module, and it's an array of objects and in this case it's an uh, array of all the projects at the very end you can see it doesn't actually bring us all of them back because say that you did this in a production application on accident and you wanted to see all the users for Twitter and it would take you days and days for it to spin out all the 320 million Twitter users out there. So uh, you wouldn't ever want to do that, but it also protects you in case you accidentally do um, just by kind of uh, halting it at this stage. So that's if you want to see everything that you have. Uh, it's pretty rare that I'll ever do something like that in the console, uh, but you can also run queries like say, okay, well, how many projects do we have? So I want to say project Dot count and it shows me right here that we have 11 of them so that's all good I want to now see what is my very last project this is one I use quite a bit and you can see right here it is project with an ID of 12 and it shows me the title description percent complete everything like that so if I want to say update this one uh, let's first store it in a variable. So I can do p equals project.last. And now in our p variable, if I just type p, it actually prints that out. So this is giving us everything that we need uh, right here, which uh, lets me, instead of having to type project last each time, I can just put that inside the p variable and now I can use it however I want. So if I want to update the title, I'll do p dot update exclamation point and the exclamation mark is optional and usually you'll just call this a bang and so I would do p update bang and or bang update and then whatever value I want so if I want to change the title and I want to say my cool title there you go, it runs and it says this uh, This all worked. And it's, we know that because it says true at the end. And you can also look through, it actually gives you right here all of the SQL that this active record method went through in order to do it. So I right here I wanna have uh, a update on in the projects table and I want to wanna set title equal to my cool title. And all of this is here. If you're familiar with SQL, then this should all look uh, pretty familiar. So that's how you update ones. Now say that if I just want to delete the whole thing, I could do p.delete, and now if I go type in uh, oh, project count, you can see it went from 11 to 10. And you may wonder when you type P in why it still brought that up. And the reason is because P is not actually that object. It's that object stored inside of a variable. So it's essentially a reference to that object. So as long as I keep this session open, all that data will be available inside P. But now if I go to project, dot last you can see it's no longer project uh, 12 like it was now it's project 11 and so this is uh, this is the way that you can delete items in there now in the next video uh, now that you know how to update and delete inside the console we're going to get into some more complex queries that you can run and this is going to help you not only in the console but these are also queries that you could run in the application itself